including the Jets, where Aaron Rodgers is participating in the workouts, which are voluntary. Rodgers out on the field throwing a wide receiver, Garrett Wilson, during yesterday's practice. And today, head coach Robert Sala talked about his expectations for Rodgers in camp. This sound new on SportsCenter. Just for him to get reacclimated re re with his, his teammates. I know he had some at the end of last year. Um, but uh, but for him to to push the envelope, continue his rehab, he has no restrictions. But and he looks good, man. Uh, the arm talent obviously is still there, but uh, it's really just reacclimating to everything. And um, you know we're trying a bunch of new stuff too. And it's just again just trying to evolve within the offense. NFL analyst Tim Hasselbeck joins us right now. It was nonstop Jets coverage leading up to last season, leading up to Aaron Rodgers' debut. However, he ultimately tore his Achilles just two minutes into the NFL season. Now Aaron Rodgers back out there on the practice field. Tim, what are your expectations for Aaron Rodgers and the Jets this season? Well, I expect Aaron to be healthy because of when the injury happened, the rehab that we've kind of followed closely. So I expect Aaron to be healthy, and I expect him to play extremely well. The Jets are better around Aaron this season than they were heading into last season. And so when you think about that and you think about the three seasons you know, prior to last year where Aaron was healthy, threw 125 touchdown passes and just over 20 interceptions. Like, he was dominant in the National Football League. And so what I think that translates to is the Jets being a legitimate contender in the AFC because they're better around Aaron. I think Aaron continues to play at a really high level. They have a good defense. And so, yeah, the Jets, all that excitement a year ago should just be, you know, copy and paste for this season if you're a Jets fan uh, in terms of what your expectations are for Rodgers and this football team. Yeah. The yeah. <clears throat> so I really completely agree with that. I think Aaron Rodgers and the Jets, like, I get it. It's fun to hate on the Jets. It's a big, massive city, New York. And so when those teams aren't doing good, essentially everyone who's not a New Yorker or that fan wants to hate on them, whether it's the Knicks, whether it's the Yankees, whatever. Now you add Aaron Rodgers to that, and Aaron Rodgers over the years has become quite divisive, right, because of some of his political views, which I've stated many times, I'm not going to talk about. I don't care to unpack. It means nothing to me. This channel is completely politics free. Unless something is truly relevant to the conversation at hand, it's like I'm not. We're just that's this is supposed to be an escape from all of that nonsense. So the fact that that's always brought in, especially for those of you who've been watching this channel, you see I do a lot of stuff with like Con Cowherd and Nick Wright, and it's just they constantly bring that up, and it's just like it, it's obnoxious. So, uh, but that, but you, but when you're ta having this general conversation about it, you can't set that aside. You have to point that out because I think that's where all of this is coming from. If Aaron Rodgers was seen, at least from the media perspective, as really likable and, and, and was out there, I don't know, planting trees in, in forests and stuff and, and was doing make a wish foundation videos, like people would be like, oh, Aaron Rodgers can do it. I'm so excited. But instead, he's outspoken, he's single, he doesn't have wife and kids, so he's perceived as less likable, right? Like, the way I look at it, too, is uh, the test I always do is, like, what do mothers think? What are the moms of the world? And, like, the older moms, that is, right? The, the 50, 60, 70-year-olds. It's like, do they like Aaron Rodgers? Yes or no? And usually, the answer, if the answer is no, well, then the general consensus is no. Right, the moms they love the Patrick Mahomes. They love Travis Kelsey with now because he's with Taylor Swift and all of that. Right now, all of a sudden, Travis Kelsey is just this sweet, likable big teddy bear. And it's like prior to that, he was not that at all. Right, like so, it's just that's the way it goes. And so right now, Aaron Rodgers is perceived as not likable. So automatically, people are just like, no, 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 no. He's not going to be good. He's not going to be good. And then they want to point out every single flaw he has or injuries or whatever it may be. And I just think it's all over-exaggerated. Here's the reality. If the Jets and Aaron Rodgers are all healthy, there is no reason to believe that they're not going to be a great team, that they're not going to be legitimate, serious contenders. Am I saying that they have a one-way ticket to the Super Bowl? Of course not. But the reality is, and to me this is the best example, is that they almost beat the Kansas City Chiefs with Zach Wilson, with the worst offense in the NFL, and they should have beaten them. You're telling me that 
with Aaron Rodgers as your quarterback that they're not going to be better, that they're not going to win an extra three, four, five games with the Aaron Rodgers, even if he's not 100% prime Aaron Rodgers, even if he's just 80% of what he was, that is still better than majority of the quarterbacks. That is still enough to bring this Jets team up into the playoffs. I mean, it's just the reality of it. They are a good, hard team that's hungry, that's excited, that has nothing but optimism. They're very optimistic. They're not going into the season as, oh, man, I don't know. We're, this is rough, man. Does our coach even know what he's doing? And Man, Aaron's all, oh, no, they feel great. They feel motivated. They feel ex- excited. And a lot of people want to try to call out Aaron Rodgers as a leader because of his political views. And I've pointed this out before that the, the reality is that a lot of his political views Many people in the locker room agree with him. Many people. Whether it's right or wrong is not what I'm here to unpack or discuss. But it's just to emphasize that just because the vast majority of the media doesn't agree with him doesn't mean that the people in the locker room don't. The locker room largely loves Aaron Rodgers. Okay, You can't find a person to say anything positive or past or present player about Russell Wilson. But there is players lining up to speak nothing but glowing praise about Aaron Rodgers that's the reality players like him and they want to be led by him that matters because the Jets also had no leadership last season with Zach Wilson understandably so he wasn't that good and he's still young he hasn't done anything so who's gonna follow him when he says all right guys we got this who no one's listening to that they're like okay dude whatever I don't even think you're gonna be in the league in the next like 10 minutes so uh better enjoy this moment you know look around and and take it all in because this could legitimately be your last that's very hard to win football games that way. And people want to point out, well, Aaron Rodgers wasn't that good for Green Bay. And I've said this now a million times, and I guess I'll have to just keep saying it until the start of this season. But he was unhappy in Green Bay. He was checking out, which a lot of great elite players over the years have done. It's just a reality. They've all done it. When they know that they don't have a team that can win a championship, whether it's basketball, baseball, football, soccer, whatever, they check out. They're not as into it. And not to mention, Aaron was also injured. He wasn't 100% healthy. And he was playing with young players that he was not happy with. And that's a a lot of great players are like that. Tom Brady was like that. He didn't want the young guys. He said, get me A, B, and Gronk. Get me an old guy who's retired. And get me another guy who has like a lot of problems on and off the field. But at least he's older and knows how to play football. And I trust that he knows how to run the routes. That's That's what Tom Brady wanted. Okay, LeBron James says, get these young guys out of here. Every time he gets to another team, he ships them out and gets a bunch of, you know, veterans. Steph Curry said, get Jordan Poole out of here. Too immature for me. So a lot of these guys, a lot of these elite Hall of Fame players don't like to play with younger players. And Aaron is not an exception to that. So to use that final year as this like big, big mark of saying, see, he's not that good. He's not that good. And the truthfully, even if he was just as good as he was in that final year in Green Bay, that's still enough to make the Jets be great. That's the reality. It's really that cut and dry. It's not any more complicated than that. The Jets have a great defense. They have some decent weapons on offense. And they have a bona fide all-time great at quarterback. That, that That's enough to make you competitive, to make you a legitimate contender. Now And the rest is up to fate. Do they stay healthy? Do they catch some bad breaks? Does a fumble, you know, does a punt return hit someone on the back of the leg like in the Super Bowl? The rest is just like, let's see what happens. That's just the way it goes. But any of this confidence that the Jets are going to be terrible or Aaron Rodgers will never be what he was, you're just making stuff up. You have no idea. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think Aaron Rodgers is washed and therefore the Jets are just not going to be able to do anything and not be legitimate contenders? Or do you think that this is finally the year that the Jets truly make some noise and can actually contend, dare I say, for a championship? Let me know in the comments below whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Either way, I read every single comment. So let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. 
and see you next time.